Salute! Bada bam, bada boom. And a happy Friday to you. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Well, we're still on the January Back to Health crunch. And I promised that we would do our monthly special again, mm -hmm. and that's what we're doing. So it's oodles of zoodles. zoodles. Yeah, look at those <laughs> bad boys. I tell you what, man, that's just some good, good natural food right there. They really so, are. So pan-seared zoodles with our grilled catfish, asparagus shrimp, healthy light tomato, just an incredible dish, and it's been going really well. Good, good. So, yeah, keep coming, guys. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our zoodles, and we just put a touch of oil in the pan, but you know what we got to have. Garlic. Of course, garlic and a little bit of our seasoning. There we go. And then throwing them zoodles in there. And they're great. I mean, they cut them fresh every day. They're not frozen or oh, anything like that. I mean, like look that. at the, You know, it was funny. <clears throat> I was talking to somebody the other day in the restaurant about why what they were buying in one of the stores was so different than what they taste. And I'm like, because they're not fresh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. You know, it, it's a shame. <laughs> Excuse me. But it makes such a difference. And when they're fresh, they're so good. Look at that guy trying to escape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is not. You are not <clears throat> going to get out of there, guy. Back in that pan. <clears throat> Yeah, because these don't take long. You guys all know the trick here. Yeah. And I love to kind of do this first because it's the base of the dish, but to show people how quickly they cook because the key is don't overcook them. You sear them first. We get them just a little drunk, and that helps steam them. I was going to say it helps steam them up a little bit. Yep. So now, and that's it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at that sizzling as they are on the And you know what? Plate. They're so good, you could take that plate right there and go yeah. eat it by itself. Yeah. They're really you good. You know, we have some people that come with just garlic and oil, and that's all they want with really? it. Really? Yep. So now, let's go ahead and start our catfish. Catfish, star of the show, mm -hmm. right there in good front. Good to see the catfish back again. Yeah, it absolutely is. Good, fresh, Mississippi, farm-raised catfish. Now, let's get the oil in the pan. we got mm -hmm. a little light touch here. Using that same pan and just pop that catfish, and you know the trick. Yeah. Set it and forget it. Thank you, Ron Co. I have to tell you, several years ago, I had the uh, pleasure. I went up to uh, Belzona, Mississippi. Oh, really? Yeah, catfish capital of the world. And my uh, my uncle lives up there and uh, took me on a tour and showed me some of the catfish farms. Nice. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Isn't it, though? It really is. Yeah, I, uh, I think that we're so blessed to be in an area where you have something that is that good, mm -hmm. that natural. And I know a lot of people watching this even today will sit there and go, wait a minute, you're not frying catfish? It's so good grilled. It really is. The taste is so clean. People will be amazed. And it's not the same catfish that you grew up catching out, you know, that was all in the murky, muddy water. Yeah, and this is not this is not those it, hard It's, hard it's such a clean tasting fish. Mm -hmm. So, all right, now the sauce. This is the fun one. Beautiful, let's, well, hmm. garlic, more garlic. Yeah, a lot of garlic, what the heck. All right, and shrimp. And a new star, asparagus, which mm. I love, love, yes. love. A little bit of our seasoning. And then what we're gonna do is throw a little bit of fresh basil in it now, and then more when it comes time to finish it. <coughs> You'd be ashamed of me. Ah! This past weekend, I made a big pot of spaghetti. I knew there was something I kept missing, and that's like I couldn't you figure it out. You didn't forget the garlic. I did. How can you forget garlic? <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. That's I a shame. Did. I All right. know. I want to get that that's on the bottom of that pan. All right. Oh, that's smelling so good, Rob. Okay, so what we are doing, I want everybody to take note of this. We've seared the shrimp, the garlic, the asparagus before we add any of the tomatoes. And these are just good plum Valorosa tomatoes that are out of our marinara sauce. So it's got some added flavor, which is a heart healthy sauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is all part of a very tasty, healthy plan. And this one is hospital approved. So it really, really is tasty. You have so many dishes now on your menu that are hospital approved. I mean, you can see on the, uh, the menu, whenever you look at it, whether you know, it's gluten free, uh, and it'll have the uh, the little heart sign on there, so shows you that it's heart healthy. 
Yeah. Just about every item on there now. Well, we've got we've got over 20 items, and the nice part about it, I'll tell you what, this was really kind of heartfelt to me. We had a gentleman come in who found out he has celiac disease, mm -hmm. which obviously means he's got to eat gluten-free. Right. A lot of people may know that, but some people don't. Years ago after Katrina, when I was on the show, I was actually the representative for the state to help promote the idea that there were gluten-free foods, and right. we were exemplifying that back in the days of Lookout 49. Mm -hmm. Well, it's come so far now, but there's still so many people who don't realize Salute has so many items that you can come in if you've been told you need a heart-healthy menu, a gluten-free menu, someone who has got type 2 diabetes and you want to eat healthy that way. Right. We've got something for everybody at Salute. Yes. So right now, that sauce is perfect so we're going to go ahead and just take it and put it right over those zoodles huh oh man the aroma huh and for those right. of you out there that now say, look well, at that. i really don't want to eat healthy well they got some of that for you too if you want it all right now that's take perfect it out. look at that is that not beautiful that is gorgeous yeah i mean i think that's the beauty salute is italian and most definitely guys our fried lasagna is not healthy, <laughs> not by any means, not by any stretch, but it is so tasty. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of our Parmesan parsley around the plate just to kind of give it a little pizzazz. Wow. And that adds a touch of salt, natural salt. Mm -hmm. All right. And the catfish, believe it or not, look how beautiful that That's is. That's nice. Huh? Just let it sit That down actually, and you can tell, see how firm it is? Mm -hmm. So we know at that point it is actually ready. And, and you notice again when he put it in the skillet, he didn't sit there and flip it and flip it and flip no, it. No, you it. just don't need to do any of that. That's where people really make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Now, a little bit of fresh basil goes on top of this as our garnish. Make it all pretty. And I tell you what, guys, tasty, healthy does not have to be bland. You're not going to sacrifice. So let's say you've got a whole family going out, which we're so blessed that you guys choose Salute. The nice part is, I don't care what diet you're looking for, Italian, seafood, or healthy, Salute is all three. This is a great example of seafood, virtually Italian style, that is totally healthy. Yeah, the zoodles, so, you know, the zoodles really add to it as well. Ah, man, I mean, look how pretty that is. And with that those so beautiful nice. Gulf shrimp, the catfish grilled, not fried, you have to come to Salute and try one of these great new healthy specials. And there's plenty of them to choose from. It, you know, it really makes it fun. So come see us at Salute, Italian, seafood, or healthy. We're all three. Ciao.